All right, since you want scripture and verse, and I said it was chapter 28, actually it's chapter 27, right? Verse 52, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Mm -hmm. So not just Jesus was resurrected either, like I said, right? Now, I don't know, you know, Matthew didn't name who it was, right? Who was resurrected there, right? But, but they were, they were. <laughs> he didn't give a number either, so. Right? And they appeared to people, right? <laughs> So something happened more than just Jesus being resurrected too, right? Other saints are resurrected, right? And that means no matter how long they were dead, I guess, too. I don't know. <laughs> it's not specific in saying the names of the people who are resurrected with Christ or the number of people, right? <laughs> or again, what happened to them, right? But if they didn't write all that info down, right, all you know is they were raised from the dead. Just not who, just not who. That's the problem with an oral tradition, right? Right, right. The Matthew's the one telling us in the written tradition, right? Now, an oral tradition, when you go to your pastor, does he just come from one scripture? Or two scriptures, or does he use a bunch of scriptures and explain it to you? <laughs> well, so did the disciples. Or <laughs> like, what does L L he mean? Is it L he or L hey? Right. Now the Jews say L hey, right? But what does that mean actually in the Hebrew? Nothing. Right. Hey is like behold, right? So, <laughs> but what is he? She, she. And it's actually a word. <laughs> El he is God chi, right? El, El he, Yisar El, <laughs> is in Genesis. I don't know. I think 36 at the end, the last verses of the chapter, right? Now, and in the Hebrew, is E-L, or Aleph Lamed, Aleph Lamed, Hey, Yod, Yod. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing less. Then it's Yod, Seen, Reish, Aleph mm -hmm. Lamet Esariel Esariel But there are no vowels or consonants Unless you insert them into it Right But looking at it straight on Right What one phrase really fits Honestly She right? Which is he in the Hebrew Right uh. Who is he in the Hebrew? How we would say, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> so that's still a pronoun. Who is a pronoun? As is he a pronoun? <laughs> and really what Moses is doing is using pronouns as part of the name of God, right? Yahuwah is 
ya, he, her, her. What do you think Sara means, right? Sar is prince. Sara must be simply prince. Her. She's a prince with him. <laughs> so she's her as a prince, right? Him as a prince, right? Now, could you do ooh-ah, meaning again, he, her, he, her, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you just do ah, L-ah, yeah. What is L-ah, right? L her, right? Can you do L A A, right? Mm -hmm. Which is God to her, yeah. You can do L A A U or who, right? To God to him. But if you don't do it, no one knows you can do it either, right? Now, what's written down, don't, you can't change that, but you can preach from it, right? Right. That's what we're talking about. Right. They preach from it, idiot. The old and the new. When Paul said the male and female are one in Christ Jesus, that means in any way, shape, or form, right? If there's a God or a goddess, right? They're both one in Christ Jesus, right? Oh. <laughs> if there's a Lord in a lady or a lady, right? Jesus can assume that title too, right? If there's a king and a queen, right? Jesus is both king and queen, right? And if Jesus could transfigure, maybe we can one day too, which is why people go trans gender, right? They think they were born the wrong gender. Well, maybe they're right after the fall, right? Maybe they should have been born a boy or a girl or a girl or a boy. Right? I don't know, but the problem is, like I said, you're not really a boy or a girl. You're still born the gender you were born, and you want to change it, right? But that don't make you an evil person now, does it? Right? Your fruits are your works. If you change your gender and you're honest about it, Jesus didn't say you couldn't do that, right? Where in the Bible does it say you can't change your gender if you think you're supposed to be the opposite gender you were born, right? As long as you're what? Honest about it? Right? <laughs> and don't lie. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. You're better to tell the truth if you feel trans than lie, live a lie that you're a male and you're comfortable with it. And like Buffalo Bill try to make a woman suit or something. Then you're going bat <laughs> crazy, right? You're becoming homicidal about it, right? And your fruit has become wicked, right? You're doing something wrong, right? You're trying to make your body from a, a real woman, right? Which ain't transgenderality anymore, right? Even if you're pre-op, until you're actually female, you gotta act like you're trans too. And that means if you're still a boy, you gotta go to the boys' room. Right, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Because, see, they don't want a man with a penis in the girls' room, right? Unless you had the surgery, then they don't really, you know, right, right, care anymore, right? You've done, committed to it, right? And I guess if you are trans female, mm -hmm. and you feel you want to, right, go to the male's bathroom, <laughs> right, if you're, mm -hmm, Whatever they give you down there to make you think you're male. Right, right. I don't know what it's called, right? But it's, is it like a penis or a real penis or a faux penis? I don't know. I don't know. And I got to get medical with you, so excuse the medical references to the male body part. 
or the female body part, which are different, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like we were two from one, too. If only one was made, then two both equally come from that one person, right? They must be both represented 50 50, right? Oh. <laughs> and then you were made to, right? <laughs> he had a residue of bone, flesh, and spirit, according to Malachi himself in chapter 3 when he's talking about marriage, right? And marrying one woman or not, right? Right. We're all taught basically try to wait for the one, right? Right. But we still don't know who the one is, is, or, and anyone can make sense or uh, understand you, right, right, and still might not be the one. You don't know that, right? Especially if you're a beautiful woman and you can get any man you want. Be honest, you want that man, whether <laughs> cause of looks, maybe, right, right, sometimes he wants you or not, right, right. <laughs> But if you run into somebody and say you're a celebrity <clears throat> and he's going to be on his best behavior, honey, right? Before, right? <laughs> you meet him, before you meet him, right? He wants to win you over, right? Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing, Jesus said, right? A wolf in sheep's clothing, I know. Must have skinned the sheep <laughs> to put the wool on its own body, but it won't look like a sheep. <laughs> like little red ride hood. <laughs> she sure was looking good. <laughs> She's everything a big bad wolf could want. Ow! <laughs> Seriously now, right? So again, right? Mm -hmm. But Jesus also in Matthew talks about some people having wives at more than one. Not in another part. That part was left out, right? But not in Matthew, right? One of them includes wives, one of them don't. Right. Is that the author's prerogative? Yeah. Why is Luke a little different than Matthew and Mark? And he tells the story right. differently and includes the prodigal son parable mm -hmm. and Lazarus and the rich man parable. Mm -hmm. Which aren't recorded in Matthew or Mark, right? Where'd that come from? I don't know. Yet we associate it with Jesus. Or did it happen twice, right? The other way to look at it is someone asked him like they did in Luke first, and then someone tried to ask him again later on the same question twice, right? Oh, does that make sense? Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone forgot the answer, and I guess again, right, right. In the first one, he asked the other person, How do you read it? Right, right. I mean, he told him mm -hmm. the answer himself, right? To love the Lord that like I with all your heart, soul, mind, strength, and name of yourself, right? Well, that's what Jesus answered the second time someone answered, asked him, right? You understand? Right. So that means he was asked twice the same question, right? Oh, oh, and this is simple as that, right? You complicate things too, right? 